This is a super quick video. For those of you who were asking how to modify my WAN 2.1 image to video workflows to use some basic LoRa's. There's more and more WAN 2.1 LoRa's popping up, with Civitai probably the best source for these at the moment. Most of the earlier LoRa's are great for creating fun or meme videos, but more and more recent ones are adding some really useful quality improvements for WAN 2.1 generated videos. In this video, I'll show you how to modify both of my WAN 2.1 image to video, native, and GGUF workflows, so you have the LoRa node knowledge that you can apply to other workflows that you may have. For those of you that don't want to do it yourself and just want to grab the done for you LoRa modified workflows, then I'll also show you how to easily download these. I'll then round off with a quick example step through of the workflow so you know how to best use it with a basic LoRa so you can get straight on with generating your own videos. I'll be running through everything on a Windows PC using ComfyUI Desktop, running an 8GB NVIDIA GPU, 80GB of RAM, and an SSD. I'll leave all the links and references that I cover in this video in the description below for you. Let's start off with adding the LoRa node to the workflows. We'll start with the WAN 2.1 image to video native workflow first. We need to insert a new LoRa loader node between the Load Diffusion Model node and the K Sampler node. We'll double click on the canvas and search for LoRa loader model only. We'll then select it in the results. We'll connect the model output on the Load Diffusion Model node to the model input on our new LoRa loader node. Then we'll connect the model output from our new LoRa loader node to the model input on the K-Sampler node. The previous connection that connected the load diffusion model to the K-Sampler will be automatically removed. Okay, that's the native workflow done. Let's do the same for the WAN 2.1 image to video GGUF workflow. We'll double click the canvas. Search for LoRa loader model only. Then select it. We'll grab the model output from the UNET Loader GGUF node and drag and connect it to the model input on our new LoRa Loader node. Then we'll connect the model output from the LoRa node to the model input on our K-Sampler node. Again, the previous connections will automatically be removed. Okay, that's the GGUF workflow done. Obviously, we can tidy up the workflows a bit, but as you can see, adding the LoRa node is actually very easy and straightforward. Let's grab both done for you WAN 2.1 plus LoRa workflows. For the WAN 2.1 image to video native LoRa workflow, we'll open the download page in our browser. We'll scroll down a bit. We'll click the download workflow button. We'll save the file in our workflows folder. For the WAN 2.1 image to video GGUF workflow, we'll open the download page. We'll scroll down a bit. We'll click the download workflow button. We'll save the file in the same workflows folder. Okay, that's the done for you workflows done. Let's round off with a quick step through of the WAN 2.1 LoRa workflow to make sure you know how to use it properly. We won't cover all the workflow settings, only the ones that specifically apply to using a LoRa. We'll use the walking back LoRa as our example. In the LoRa details section on the right, we can see that the LoRa trigger word is walking from behind, which we'll need to remember to use in our positive text prompt. And the recommended LoRa strength is 1.0, which we'll also need to note to set in our workflow. It's always worth checking the LoRa page details for handy prompt examples, the LoRa trigger words, recommended strength settings, and more. We'll click to download the LoRa file. We'll rename the file to something more recognizable. We'll rename it to walkingback.safetensors. Then we'll save it in our comfy UI LoRa folder. Okay, that's the LoRa downloaded. Now we'll open comfy UI. Then we'll open the WAN 2.1 image to video native workflow. The GGUF workflow will work in exactly the same way. Like I said, I'll only cover the LoRa specific settings in this workflow. If you want more details on the other settings, then you can take a look at the original install video. In the load image node, we'll click choose file to upload. 
We'll select an example image that I generated earlier using the 8-step Flux Turbo Alpha LoRa. In our new LoRa Loader Model Only node, we'll select the Walking Back LoRa. We'll leave the strength at the recommended 1.0 to get the full LoRa effect. In the positive text prompt, we'll insert a woman walking from behind, which includes the LoRa trigger word of walking from behind. Then we just hit run. It takes about 13 minutes on my 8GB GPU machine to generate a 16 frames per second, 2 second video at 480 by 832 pixels. When it's finished, we do in fact get a pretty decent video of a woman walking from behind. Often trying to achieve a rear view of a person walking away from the camera using just the text prompt without the LoRa results in imperfect and often distorted results, so the LoRa does do what it says it does, which is always nice. Okay, that's the workflow done and everything covered for this quick one 2.1 plus LoRa tutorial. Hope you found this video helpful and I'll catch you in the next one.